We all need fast and tasty recipes to help us prepare a quick appetizer and save us from spending hours in the kitchen. Today, I'm going to share with you five fast and creative ways to turn the ready-made puff pastry into a scrumptious appetizer to satisfy even the biggest of guests. These are the definitely the fastest puff pastry rolls you can make for breakfast or when you have friends over. For all the recipes, I use already made puff pastry which can be found in all supermarkets. First, sprinkle some flour over the work surface and roll out the thawed puff pastry into a rectangular shape. Cut the dough into 9 squares, then cut each square diagonally to have 18 triangles. Coat each triangle with cream cheese, top with thin slices of yellow cheese and add some ham. Roll it and place in a baking pan lined with a baking paper. Coat the rolls with a lightly beaten egg and bake in a preheated oven at 190 Celsius degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Let them cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and serve. If you are a big pizza fan, you will definitely enjoy preparing the next recipe. Crispy, juicy, aromatic pizza rolls ready in about 15 minutes, not including the baking time. First, sprinkle some flour over the work surface and roll out the tout puff pastry into a rectangular shape. Coat the dough with tomato sauce. Add the slices of ham and cheese. and grate some parmesan. Fold the dough into a roll, use a sharp knife to cut the roll into equal pieces and place them in a pan light with a baking paper cut side down. with some dried oregano. Bake in a preheated oven at 190 Celsius degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes or until they get a nice golden brown color. For all these who prefer a nutty chocolate flavor, this is the recipe you must try. It is braided and although it must seem complicated to do, I assure you that anyone can prepare it and it will take you only 10 minutes. First, sprinkle some flour over the work surface and roll out the tough puff pastry into a rectangular shape. Coat the whole dough with chocolate spread. Chop the nuts into small pieces and sprinkle all over it. Fold the dough into a roll and with a sharp knife cut the roll into half. Braid the two pieces and transfer the braid to a loaf pan lined with a baking paper. Coat with a lightly beaten egg and bake in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes.
if you wish to prepare a sweet appetizer, then you must try these apple turnovers. Complete the aroma with cinnamon and lemon zest. First of all, prepare the filling. On a cutting board, cut the apples into small cubes. Transfer them to a bowl and add the sugar, cinnamon, chopped walnuts and lemon zest. Sprinkle some flour over the working surface and roll out the tout pap pastry into a rectangular shape. Cut the dough into rectangular shapes. Put some of the apple filling in the middle of half of the rectangular shapes and cover the filling with the rest of the dough. Dip a fork in a little flour and press the edges of each of the puff pastries. Transfer the puff pastry to a pan lined with baking paper and use a knife to make a few cuts that will let the steam come out easily during baking. Coat them with a lightly beaten egg Bake in a preheated oven at 190 Celsius degrees for about 20 minutes. Let them cool in the pan for a while then serve with powdered sugar. The following combination is popular with people who have a sophisticated palate. Cream cheese, fresh tomato and melted cheese is a combination that leave no one indifferent. This appetizer is ready in just 10 minutes, not including baking time. Sprinkle some flour over the working surface and roll out the tout puff pastry into a rectangular shape. Cut the dough twice horizontally, then cut two more times vertically to get a total of 9 equal squares. Using a spatula, coat each piece of puff pastry with cream cheese and sprinkle it with salt and ground black pepper to taste. Put a slice of tomato and sprinkle with garlic powder and dried oregano. Finally, top with grated yellow cheese and fold the two ends of the puff pastry towards the center. Transfer to a pan lined with baking paper and coat with a lightly beaten egg. Bake in a preheated oven at 180 Celsius degrees for about 15 minutes. Let them cool for 5 minutes in the pan, then serve with freshly chopped basil. I hope these 5 ideas for different puff pastry appetizers find their way to your table and amaze all your friends and family. They are perfect for birthday parties, family gatherings or an evening spent with friends. I hope you will give these recipes a try and let me know how they turn out. For a lot more coming in future, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Have fun cooking, until the next time!